everyone, it's Shelby here. Welcome back to A Little Literary Love. I'm glad you're with me today. Today's video is going to be my April mid-month wrap-up. We are already through halfway through April. I'm so excited. Um, I only have four books to talk about. Um, I was hoping I was going to be able to get one or two more read, but I've been picking up a little bit like longer of books this month. Um, I'm currently trying to finish up an arc that I had gotten um, and then I'm participating in a read-along with this book for like my book club. The, the author was just happened to be doing a read-along with it um, so I'm also currently in the middle of reading that. Um, so we should have a lot more books to talk about at the end of April with my wrap-up um, but yeah it's just a lot of other things have been going on and I just haven't really been reading as much as I would have liked um, but I have been enjoying what I'm reading for the most part um, so this should hopefully be a pretty quick and short video since like I said I only have the four books to talk about um, so we're gonna get right into it um, so the first book that I read is gonna be Toxic by Nicole Blanchard um, this is a contemporary dark romance um, and this is about this girl. She works as a nurse at a prison um, and she is married to the warden of the prison, um, but she is not in a good relationship with her husband. Her, um, she, her husband is very violent with her, um, definitely abuses her physically and mentally. And she catches the eye of this prisoner there and he kind of takes like a liking towards her. He starts leaving her and drawing her these um, like drawings of her and they're really well done. And she, he, they start talking with each other and they start to form a little bit of a bond. Um, but then things just kind of go haywire and crazy from there. Um, I ended up giving this three and a half stars. I... I enjoyed the ride that we were on for this story um, because about halfway or even a little bit before halfway like he breaks out of prison and then there's a bunch of stuff going on like outside of the prison part um, so I just kept reading because I didn't exactly know where this story was going to go um, so I was here for the ride I didn't really care so much for the romance aspect of it. I liked it at the beginning, but then as time went on, it just didn't really make sense to me. Um, I just, I don't know. I felt like it was kind of lacking like the development and the building of the romance. Like when they finally are like, yeah, we love each other. Uh, it just, I don't know. It didn't really make sense to me. Um, this is a very dark book. There's a lot of scenes in here with, like I said, abuse. Um, there's even more. There's like some torture scenes in here. Um, and there is, oh, there's also trigger warning for miscarriage in this one. So that's a pretty dark book. So that's not really your cup of tea. You may want to skip this one, but it was very intriguing. Um, steam on this is going to be about medium per se. Um, yeah, so there's that one. Um, then I read Rafe, a buff male nanny story by um, Rebecca Weatherspoon. This is a contemporary romance. Um, this is about our heroine. She is a um, heart surgeon and she has twin daughters um, and her nanny bails on her at the last minute so she's scrambling trying to find this nanny and she comes across Rafe um, who is highly recommended. He's actually trying to get out of being a nanny but he decides that he will do her a favor um, since she's like scrambling and stressed trying to find a nanny for her girls um, but immediately upon both of these people meeting each other they both have this instant connection connection and attraction towards each other um, and Rafe is very honest about it like saying hey I don't know I'm gonna try to be professional but I'm very attracted towards you and just kind of lays it out there um, I give this one four stars I really enjoyed this one I thought the chemistry between Rafe and I don't remember her name our heroine was beautiful I thought Rafe was just 
he's kind of like a dream man, honestly, um, because he's so patient and gentle and calm with, with her and then her girls. Um, but he's also just this like big, like buff and gruff looking dude. He has tattoos everywhere. He's very like, I'm picturing a very attractive man. Um, my only issue with this book, and this is very much a me issue because I work in healthcare, is that our heroine's personality does not match a heart surgeon whatsoever. I've talked to several heart surgeons. They're all dicks um, and very confident in themselves. And there's just some things in here that she, um, she questions herself and she stumbles a little bit and it's like, oh, I'm not sure if this is okay or if I should be too, like, and that's just that her mindset is not that of a heart, heart surgeon whatsoever. Um, very much, basically all of the medically bits of this were kind of no, um, but overall I did really enjoy it. So I, this was just, it was a very good single mom romance. It was a very good, it's an interracial couple. Um, it was just, I don't know. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. Then I read 1% of You by Michelle Gross. This is another contemporary romance. This is another like single mom romance. Um, I was kind of in a mood for that. Um, this is about Hadley and Elijah. Um, Hadley is a single mom um, to, she has a daughter and then she's very pregnant with her second child. Um, and she's just trying to make ends meet. She is going, she works at night and then she's also going going to nursing school to try to get her nursing degree so that then she can have a better job and provide more for her family. Um, and then Elijah happens to live across the street from her. He bought this house um, that was up for sale across the street from her. Um, they have a not great run in like their first meet, um, how they meet the characters meet up it was not great because he, where they were at the grocery store and he stole chips from her daughter. Um, so, like I said, not a great start. He has a lot of like judgmental thoughts about her initially. Um, but he, after this initial uh, meeting, he is very intrigued by her and he can't stop thinking about her. And they keep having like run ins, like when she's leaving for work or he's coming back home. And he just wants to learn more and more about her. Um, so it becomes their romance. I gave this one four stars. I love this. I thought it was so sweet once Elijah warms up to her and her daughter. Um, and just, it was just so sweet and how he just wants to take care of her. And I just thought it was so beautiful. And Hadley is very like timid at first about giving in to being with him because she hasn't had a lot of luck with romance before but she finally gives in to Elijah and warms up to him. And it's just, it was just the sweetest romance. The steam on this was fairly high. I would say like medium high. And I just, I, I don't know. I really enjoyed it. Okay. And then the last one that I have to talk about is going to be Heartless Heathens by Santana Knox. Um, this is a dark romance maybe paranormal it's kind of hard for me to just it's gonna be hard for me to describe this one um this is about this heroine um she is kind of sequestered away in this big church bell tower and that's where she lives she doesn't really know the outside world um the father Frollo is has done this to her um we are this book takes place in this world that's kind of like dystopian-esque um where the catholic church has taken over america and they like the catholic church rules america um so there's there's a lot of stuff with that. Like they're at this, like almost like a college, um, but it is a Catholic school that everybody goes to. Um, and then there's these men, these three men um, go to go there into school to try to help take down 
the church and they are part of this like satanic cult and they end up taking this church where this girl is living at um, and for themselves and they find her there and they decide that they that she is kind of this key for um, helping them with taking down the church because apparently she is potentially related to this like big like founder guy of like the Satanists or something. Um, if I'm not really describing this well, it's probably because I mostly didn't really understand what was going on through all, all of this. Um, I listened to this on audio, so I don't know if that's like the, maybe that's part of it. That wasn't the best way to go with it. So I ended up giving this one three stars. I just thought this was meh. Um, I just felt like everything felt really flat. I thought the premise and the world was very interesting. Um, the sex scenes were a bit much, to be honest. Like, there's a lot of sex scenes, but they get, like, um, a little bit, almost too much for me, too. Um, but then the rest of it, like, the plot and the characters and the growth of everybody and the dynamics um, and the development, it just wasn't there and wasn't exactly what I was wanting from it um so I just I don't know I thought like I said this was meh I would consider reading another Santana Knox book in the future but I just was not really impressed with this one so um but yeah so that's gonna be all four books that I read in the first half of April um, like I said hopefully I should have a lot more books to talk about in the end half of April because I have several books that I am over halfway through I just, I just need to finish them um, so that's gonna be it make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video um, subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment down below with some of the books that you've been enjoying so far this April I love hearing from you all um, otherwise I will see you all in the next one bye guys